All right, we're live. Here we're we here. are. <laughs> here we are to talk more about our lifestyle leadership expedition, um, Nepal version, uh, which I think we're both very, very, very excited about. And today we'll talk a little bit about purpose. What is it? How you find it? Why it's so important? Um, but I think to start with, do you want to give the review and overview of, of this expedition that we want to take people on? Yeah, for sure. And if I'm allowed, I don't know if you can maybe allow me to oh. to share my screen. Yep. <laughs> so give a, a short visual overview. That something we went deeper into last week. So people who want to know all the details, they can, can watch the webinar uh, of last week where we uh, dig deeper into the program and why we're doing this fantastic program together and, and how we met all these all this kind of things. Um, but for those who don't want to see the full webinar of last week, <laughs> so end of, um, let me see, share, yeah. Oh. Wait. I don't know if you, can you see the program now or not? Yep, got it. These 10 days? Yep. Yeah, I great. See so, yeah, end of uh, end of November, eh, we're going to go with 10 business leaders on a transformational journey to, to Nepal, to the mountains, um, where we're going to, yeah, learn more about ourselves, about our purpose, where we're going to talk a little bit about today, um, but also learn how how we can become the, the full masters of our own life and, and can can create the life that we want and, and become the best version of ourselves. So it's going to be a real powerful trip. Um, so 10 days, uh, just very short, like um, first we arrive in Kathmandu, then we go going to go a couple of days to the countryside to, to connect, to, to learn to, to know each other a little bit more, going to start some, some small hikes, uh, and then we're going to, uh, on the fifth day, we're going to do a, a big hike to into the mountains. Um, this, this pilgrimage uh, route into the, the mountains towards a sacred lake, Gosaikunda Lake. Um, and afterwards, yeah, we go back to, to Nubakot, to the, the place where we started to do, some, uh, to do some integration. So it's going to be 10 days full of inspirational sessions, workshops, um, tools that we will give people on on how they can during a normal day also at home um yeah tap into their full potential let's say how they can use breath work cold exposure all these things to to give them energy during the day to sleep better to to change their habits and yeah to to uh, to rule their own life <laughs> <laughs> so we now have uh, already Two persons out of ten who uh, who registered, who uh, committed to join, and after, of course, also intake conversation because we have like intake calls with with everyone to see that we really uh, create a group which will bond well with the, the right uh, type of people or people with the right interest, with the right mindsets, um, who can also give something to the to the group from their experience. So that it's a full, um, yeah, a full bonding which can go on with uh, with the group. So um, people who want to join can always afterwards uh, plan an intake call with with you, me, or both of us together to to get more into the details. But yeah, today we're um, going to talk a little bit about purpose, uh, Georgie, because uh, yeah, purpose is where it all starts. Whatever you do in life. Uh, whatever challenge you take, whatever road you take, if you're not walking it according to your purpose, then um, yeah, then something is wrong or something is not going how it maybe should be. And you feel, and often people they feel it that ah, oh, there's something wrong in my life. And and okay, there knowing your purpose, no, know, going back to your roots of of why you're doing all these these things is is, is something very powerful. So true. So true. And I think you, you totally hit on it there. I think we sort of get to that point sometime where we, we feel that something's off. Like we get that sense, that sense that there's got to be more to, to what I'm doing in life or how I want to show up. And it's like, 
how do, how do I find that? How do I do that? And then once you're able to find it, which I think because we hear a lot about purpose this, these days, I think it's like a, a thing. Um, and often it, it, it is, it's a, such a process and such a journey. But once you have it, it really does become kind of that lighthouse or that kind of North Star that can guide almost for me anyway, at least on every decision I make is kind of, am I in alignment with that? Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, for sure. So, yeah. yeah. And so when you think about your purpose, maybe just share a bit about like what that journey was like for you. Yeah. Also for me, it was, it's like you say, it's a real journey. It's not like, okay, I'm now going to register for a workshop, discover your purpose and you go outside the workshop and you have your purpose. It's, it's, it's not going like that. So it's been a long journey, um, uh, an unconscious journey, let's say. To start a little bit from the, the beginning, so my background, I'm, an, I'm a mechanical engineer. I worked like 10 years in a corporate environment, trying to like climb the corporate ladder, not knowing why. Uh, I was just being a mechanical engineer because my brother was one, my father was a mechanical engineer. So I thought, okay, you can find a job as a mechanical engineer. So I became a manager uh, in some uh, leading positions and Suddenly it was like, okay, yeah, I don't feel it anymore. So I become a consultant because as a consultant, you get to know a lot of companies. And I was always trying to, yeah, also go on these challenges like this. this uh, last time I also talked a little bit about those ultra marathons of, of running more than 200 kilometers in the desert or in the jungle. So I was doing these this big physical and mental challenges. Unconsciously, I was already there trying to look for some deeper meaning in my in my life because I I was always looking. It's it's a little bit how I was composed. I was always trying to find out is there something more. I I didn't find my purpose yet, and and I was always interested in everything. I was like good in a lot of things, not the best, but not bad. So I was, it was really difficult for me. Okay, but what do I really want to do? Um, and then often how it goes, like uh, something yeah, terrible can happen in your life. And, and that's often the, the starting point to really start to look for your purpose. For me, it was my, my divorce. I had a, a small kid. Uh, I was just married. Uh, I had one year married and, and suddenly I was, uh, I was making good career and, and studying an executive MBA and doing a lot of stuff. And suddenly there was a divorce. And this divorce was for me the trigger to to start going inside instead of always going for these external challenges. It was the first time I tried to look for answers inside myself. And yeah, then this whole exploration started and, and experimenting with all kinds of different techniques to uncover all those layers of my own personality, which had been built up over the, yeah, the years from my birth until when I, yeah, was there being a divorced uh, divorced guy. It was like 20, I was like 20, no, thir yeah, 31 I was, yeah. So five years ago. Um, and yeah, since then, once you get on this path of your purpose discovery, it's like, yeah, you, you start to see the world in a different way. You start to find answers where you were not looking for answers. And, and it's been really a, a quite a quite an interesting journey which is still still not finished okay i know now more about what my purpose is but every time you go on this this journey or like we're going to nepal you discover small things and you yeah it's like a etching a diamond it's like finding a little bit more about it and and giving it some more value so uh so 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 true i think if i think about me too it probably started in around 2003-ish, I guess, you know, and because before that I was in insurance, finance, that kind of doing that kind of thing. Um, we had a few businesses going, but it was that spot of like, I want to do more. I feel like there's more that I can do. There's, I want to do something that makes a bigger difference. So it's that searching for kind of what is that, you know, and then lots of personal development courses. I think that's probably when I first started getting into coaching and all those kinds of things, but really it's like looking and looking. And then when I went to Nepal um, the first time in 2013, literally that's where I was at a point where I was like, okay, 
am I really walking my talk? Am I showing up as the person that I feel like I want to be or that I'm meant to be? Am I being a great example for my kids? Like what is this really all, all there is? And I think when I went to Nepal, it was, which is I think why I have also a bit of a fondness for this country is things really opened up there. And I think when you are out of your own environment and it was that space to really start to go inside to really um, just slow down and be and ask myself a lot of questions and, and start on that journey where it was like okay I'm kind of getting the sense of what this could be and then it was the um, being able to articulate it was also challenging um, which is when I found the work uh, with Simon Sinek which made that really amazing to be able to articulate it and even in that articulation you know it's a process you know mm -hmm. I've, I've run lots of workshops for people to help them kind of articulate what their why is and it is such a journey you know because it's not like the words are perfect and then the more you kind of dive into yourself and get deeper with oh, okay what do I really believe what are my values what am I what am I really here to do it is mm -hmm. such a process like it doesn't happen like you say like <laughs> one and done yeah come to my workshop do i guarantee i'll help you be able to articulate it yes and then that's just the beginning you know yeah. now you've got to live it you've got to step into it really embrace it um yeah. and already by putting it into words it's it's a powerful thing but still it's it's limiting a lot of other things because yeah words are just a way to express ourselves and and living according to your purpose it's it's a thing about feeling and yes. and i know to to be able to translate it to others or to explain it to others you have to put it into words but a lot of the context is is yeah it's lost but okay we do not have a lot of other other things to to express it totally before. and i think because it is such a um your purpose is really, it's, it's a visceral thing, right? Like it is, it's like a full on body experience. So to be able to, it's, the words almost seem um, almost superficial because it's so much deeper than that, you know? And I think, and it does take, like you say, there's, there's just, there's so many layers, so many layers. And that's why I'm, I'm excited about being able to talk about these things on our trip because I really do believe getting outside of your environment getting into a space, uh, I think nature is also very, very helpful for mm -hmm. um, creating the, the right environment to actually slow down and look inside and start questioning some things to, to find out what am, what am I really here for? Like, how can I make, you know, the, the biggest difference with my life so that every day, for me, it's, at least it's really important to make sure that I'm not just here taking up space. You know, that I'm actually doing something that matters, that I'm contributing, that I'm being the best me that, that I can be. And I think a lot of the people who are probably interested in coming on this trip feel kind of the same way. You know, it's, I'm a leader, I want to make a difference, I want to make an impact. How can I show up as the best version of myself so that it affects all areas of my life? And I mm -hmm. think when we can connect to our purpose it does provide like i say that kind of that little that lighthouse like i know i use it all the time for opportunities and things that show up for me is this alignment is this going to help me live my reason for being here mm -hmm. and it's you know for me, it's yes no <laughs> completely the same for me if i have to make like a decision in which direction i want to go with my business or 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 personally, I'm always going back to okay. What was my what was my purpose again? Is it still in line with it? And and will it help me on my on my path of going in the right direction? So, um, and indeed, like a lot of people ask, okay, very great purpose. I love it. I love the idea. I love the concept. But okay, tell me, how can I find my purpose? <laughs> That's where then the difficult thing is it because hey, you have like these great tools from Simon Sinek to start with why or or Ikigai and this Japanese yes. concept. Um, and yeah, those frameworks are, I, at least for me, were not the starting points. For me, eh, I, 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 trying to understand your purpose is, is going deeper than what your conscious brain knows. It's not by rational thinking. Totally our purpose it's by like deeper feeling and 
tapping into unconscious patterns, behaviors, our belief systems. So all those things which are hidden in this, in this um, yeah, dark area of our, of our unconsciousness, um, that's where we need to dig into. And, and the good thing is there are a lot of tools that we can apply, like the breathwork, intensive breathwork that we do, like holotropic breathing, um also okay we're not going to do it in nepal but like you have like plant medicines and all these alternative methods to to go deeper into your unconsciousness um but it's like yeah, going into nature it also changes our brainwave state why and and opens up a lot of things um so for sure in nepal there are going to be a lot of um yeah circumstances created where we can uncover our purpose when we do not really know it so um and then afterwards at, at, at least for me afterwards then there was like these these uh these frameworks of simon sinek and ikigai and when people then ask me okay but what is then your purpose we, using this framework it can give you it gives you a way to show it to to other people um absolutely but it's something which is done yeah on a deeper level I totally agree because I think it a lot of times it comes from um, like even if you look at the work of Simon right it, it's looking back into what's my origin story what are those things from from my childhood and what am I bringing forward and really taking the time um, and like you say digging in the things that I'm not even aware of you know mm -hmm. it's like they're literally these patterns and these things that are running in my unconscious and how can I um, step into those things or discover them and i also believe it, it's nice having having a guide to help you <laughs> you know because like oh, okay yeah well, let's go here at least to be like because i think a lot of people are like well how do i do that how do i how do i really um go inside what does that what does that really mean what am i looking for um especially if you're kind of a, a really intellectual thinker sometimes it's like that just sounds so odd and weird to me and I don't know how to do it and I feel like I know there's something more and I, I want to go there and I want to find it but but how do I do it but I I totally agree it is you know even if I think about like I say with me I literally started in probably 2000 and 2003 where I was you know having that sense of there has to be more and it's that diving in diving in diving in um, peeling back layers looking inside what what is really important to me what are like say going back into my childhood and what are the things i was doing when i was little and what were the the impactful events in my life that that mm -hmm. happened you know and what did i learn from those things what was it about necessarily that event that either got me so upset or triggered me and what was what did i believe there mm -hmm. You know, because I often find it's it's there. We hold some really strong beliefs um, that that are do start to form our purpose. And I totally agree with what you said earlier. In all the purpose work I've done, like with people too, it almost always comes back to some kind of traumatic event. Mm -hmm. It's like that. Oh, uh, okay. There was a trigger point there, and so much information in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, indeed. And it's, yeah, it's like the willingness to also go and dig into those uncomfortable places and eh? knowing that, yeah, it will maybe some fear will pop up or so, yeah, some traumatic experiences from the past or from your childhood will, will come to the surface and mm. it's a, a comfortable process, but it's so rewarding afterwards. It's so, oh. re it's so rewarding. Like I say, even just, just knowing that you have that to guide you you know like the decision making becomes so much easier and often even though that just you know following through on the decision might not be that easy but you you um you know the right decision to make mm -hmm. you know it becomes yes or no and that can happen really really quickly mm -hmm. and i get that you know people will say you you make decisions too quickly and i'm like i can i get that it seems like that and i'm just really sure about why i'm here and what i want to do and what my values are so if it lines up the decision can be made made quickly and i get from the outside sometimes it looks like i'm making rash decisions um but there's been like you know feels like 20 years of work going into being able to make decisions from that place so that's not that quick to me <laughs> 
So, so <laughs> what's your purpose, Georgie? Well, my articulation of my purpose then would be to inspire people to take action to create the life that they really, really, really want. But And so for me, it's really about um, creating environments where people feel like they matter, right? I believe in this world where um, we are kind to people and we accept people and um, we're able to help people do the things that they really, really want to do. And so if any opportunity I get to be able to do that, I'm like, I'm in, I'm, to I'm totally in. Like, you know, and does it line up with my values? Check, 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 check. I'm in. It, it was like with you, like, and I can't, now I can't even remember where I had seen your values before we even talked for the first time. And I'm looking at your stuff when we're having a conversation. I'm like, yep, 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 yep. You know, <laughs> will this trip allow me to inspire people so they can take action to create the life they really want? Totally it will. Totally. I'm like, yeah, absolutely. Will we be able to cre create this amazing environment for people and have people come together and they'll be able, like you say, to build connections and create bonds and then go out and make an impact? Totally. You know, so it's just like, I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> nice. So what's yours? Yeah, I, I like the way you, how you say it. It's articulated version um, version of my purpose. For me, it's to, to connect people with their true nature and, and really this connection parts with their, yeah, their nature, but also with nature eh, where we live in so that they can consciously grow and, and explore their untapped potential to become the best version of themselves. So, um, yeah, this connection part has been really important for me, my own story, because I never lived in connection. So getting people back into this, this state of feeling connected with, with who they are so that they can then make those decisions to yeah, consciously grow because once you are getting more conscious about who you are, then you make decisions where you grow in the right direction and giving them the tools then to yeah, and explore all that untapped potential which lies inside of us with, with, uh, with this breath work, with all this cold exposure. Um, yeah, it uncovers so much potential uh, in everyone. Uh, so, yeah, also fitting perfect. That's why, yeah, in Nepal, I, I, we didn't know each other or we never met. So it's just like a digital connection. But from the start, it was like, yeah, you immediately felt from the energy between us that there was an alignment <laughs> somewhere in our purpose without even talking about our purpose. Exactly. So, yeah, just do it. And we know that it's the right thing to do. So true. And I think, you know, the, the, the little things that keep showing up as, as we plan this and move on to doing it, it's, it's like the, um, the alignment is so awesome. And I like, I love these, like, I think it's like magical and cause I, I like magic, uh, you know, and I think it's these, these little synchronicities that show up and it's like, Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Like even when you shared that on your, your vision goal board thing, right? 2017 was a, that you wrote a trip to Nepal. And I'm like, oh my gosh, we're like totally doing it. Like, it's so awesome. Um, yeah. yeah. And I think you're right. Once you help people sort of really tap into their true nature and their true potential, there are so many options, you know? It's just, it's, it's really like limitless. And I think when people are able to to recognize that within themselves and to really step into that, that's a really powerful place to be mm -hmm. because it's yeah. not so much, you know, externally driven. It's you really learn how to that, you know, that place of inner confidence, inner empowerment, um, inner self love, if you want to call it that, but that really place where you're, you're pretty solid, you know, and you make decisions from that place and that that's life changing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, indeed. Indeed. So yeah, that, that's also where we want to to take the people with us to um, and to help them a bit uh, if they didn't yes. discover this yet, or to to maybe uh, refine it a little a little bit. Um, because yeah, when when I do my work with with leaders and business leaders, then of course the first thing, whatever you do, I talk with them about their purpose and and what they want to do in their life or what they want to create. Um, so yeah, obviously it will also be the starting point for our trip in Nepal to get connected with each other's purpose a bit or to rediscover it a little bit with, with some intensive breath work, with some small workshops to visualize it for each other. So, um, uh, that will yeah. be very 
it's going to be very, very, very exciting. So if anyone's listening and this sounds intriguing to you um, and you want to know more about your purpose or like you say, refine it a little bit, um, then please reach out to us because let's have a call and let's see, you know, if this adventure might be, might be a fit for you. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that's awesome. I'm just checking our Facebook to see if we have any, anything there. Um, yeah. So I don't know. Anything else you want to share on purpose for today? Um, no, <laughs> no, no, that's it. Um, yeah, people were already on that path. Yeah, they, they just have to continue. And if they want to discover more and want to do it in an inspirational and transformational place and, and join us on Nepal, then yeah, reach out and uh, we will provide more information on, on how we see it and if we can share this part of our journeys on this planet together in Nepal these 10 days, it would be great. Yeah, exactly. So well said. Yeah, it really is this, this collaborative sharing adventure. Mm. So, yeah. All right, then I guess we'll see people next week. Yeah, next week. And probably next week we'll already do a little bit, uh, yeah, some examples on breath work and how our, just our breathing can, can help us in, in getting connected. We will yeah. not digital holotropic <laughs> because then maybe yeah, you never know what happens <laughs> that we will keep for Nepal but just some introduction on, on how our breathing can change our life that sounds awesome I'm looking forward to that anyway Great. <laughs> very cool all right we will see everybody next week yeah until all right until next, next week have a fantastic I was gonna say day but or evening maybe depending on where you're at <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye.